Hey, what up, guys? My name is Lazy Mammoth, and um, about two months ago, I made a video on how to get the unlimited death machine glitch on PS4, right? But still, to this day, I get comments all the time saying how it doesn't work or um, it's a patch. And um, well, I'm here to tell you that it's not. The glitch still works, and I'm pretty sure Treyarch wouldn't patch a glitch on a five year old game. But I do understand the frustration, and I'll admit, part of it is my fault because in that video, I didn't tell you guys on the things that could go wrong doing this glitch, which is why in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys on how to get the unlimited death machine glitch working all the time. I'll explain every problem that can go wrong, which is something I didn't explain in the last video. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. Before we get into it, the method I will show in this video will be on how to do it on the PS4 with two controllers, but do not worry because if you don't have such requirements, I will put links down below on how to do this on the Xbox and the PC and the PS4 with only one controller as well. The problems I say in this video will also most likely apply to those methods as well. But now that's out of the way, let's discuss the prerequisites. Okay, first things first, you need to make sure that you have all the attachments for one of the three guns I will mention. The Kuda, the Vesper, or the Shiva. You don't need to get all the attachments for all three guns, you just need to get all the attachments for one of the three guns. I got comments saying how this doesn't work because I don't have the suppressor attachments unlocked. And I'm like, well, of course it doesn't work if you don't have it unlocked. In that video, I specifically mentioned that you need these specific attachments in this specific order. So if you don't have all the attachments unlocked for one of the three guns, then you gotta get some XP grinding to do. Now, there are some people who can't unlock the suppressor attachments for some specific guns like the Vesper. And if that's the case, then just do it on the Kuda or the Shiva. But another thing you need to know is that if you have variants for one of the three guns, make sure you delete those variants or else the glitch won't work. But now that's out of the way, the other prerequisite thing that you need to know is that you need to make sure you can play online with two of your PlayStation accounts. If you have PlayStation Plus on one of the accounts, then you should also be able to have PlayStation Plus features on the second account. For example, one of the steps in the video will require a second account to join the lobby, and I got some comments saying how, oh, it doesn't work, my second account needs PlayStation Plus, I don't want to buy PlayStation Plus just so I can do this glitch, and I replied saying, well, this problem only happens when you are game sharing with somebody on your first account with PS Plus. So just make sure you aren't currently game sharing with anybody and have the main account with your PS Plus as activated as your primary PS4. The last problem, which is the most important problem people had, is when they had glitched screens that would sometimes kick them out back to the main menu. In order to fix that, you will need to delete player data from the PS4 stored settings as shown right now. You need to do this before you do anything else shown in the video, so this is basically like the first step to do, but um, yeah, don't worry, deleting this won't delete any stats or progress XP levels or anything in that nature. It will only reset stuff like your brightness settings and your controller sensitivity settings, and that's basically much it. It won't delete any user earned settings, so you don't have to worry about that. So now I'm going to play the exact video I made two months ago, but um, when there is a typical step in the video where people have problems, then I will pause the video and explain the problem why this didn't work for you. So yeah, let's play the video and detect every problem that we can solve. Alright, to start off, hop on your PS4, and before you actually run Black Ops 3, make sure you go ahead and turn off your internet in the PS4 settings as I do here. Now, after you turn the internet off, you can go ahead and start to run Black Ops 3. So I'm just going to speed up these loading times as I edit the video. Anyways, once you loaded up Black Ops 3, press X to load up into the main menu. As you guys can see, you should be offline once you load in. So from here, you guys want to go back into your PS4 settings and reconnect to the internet as I do right here by checking that box. After that, go back into Black Ops 3 and go down to where it says Play Online and click X. Now, it should give you two options, and you want to click Play Online. And it's important that you wait one second when connecting to the online services, and then back out by clicking the circle button, and then open the menu by clicking the start button right away. Now from here, you guys want to wait until your screen flashes and until you see the options where it says press X to start in the bottom left. Again, this step will not work if you didn't delete player data like I said in the beginning, so make sure you do that so you don't have problems like making it kick you back to the main menu screen. So as you can see here, the screen flashes for a bit and then it shows in the bottom left saying press X to start. Also again, if your screen doesn't flash, or maybe it does, but you still don't see the main menu thing on the bottom left, then again, go delete player data. It's very important so you can get through this step. So just click X so you load into the game. Now, you guys will notice that your whole screen is glitched out, so from here, go on to the zombies option and click on it. And now once you are in zombies, you're going to want to hook up your second controller and connect inside the game. 
Like I said in the beginning, you should be able to hook up your second controller with your second account with ease. If it says you gotta buy PS Plus for, for the second account, this means that your PlayStation 4 isn't activated as your primary and also means that someone is game sharing with you. So just make sure you talk to that person to disable that so you can make this step work. Now using your second controller, go on to and click private game. From here, still using your second controller, go ahead and click the weapon kit option and then go ahead and click on secondaries and then from here click on the bowie knife. Once you guys have done that, go back and switch to your first controller and click X. You should be on the gunsmith screen from here as shown in the video. Now from here, go back and use your second controller and back out three times by pressing the circle button. So in other words, press the circle button three times until you get back into the gunsmith screen. Now still using your second controller, go ahead and click X, which should bring you into the weapons kit screen. From here, go ahead and click the secondaries option and then click on the bowie knife. Now from here, you should be able to see the weapon kits for your guns as shown in the screen. Now using your first controller, go ahead and go down to either the Kuda, Vespa, or the Shiva, and go ahead and create a variant. Now this is very important, you guys have to make sure that this is the only variant on these weapons and that there are no other variants on them. If there are any other variants on either the Akuda, Vespa, or your Shiva, you just have to go ahead and delete them. Now on these variants, you're going to want to make sure that, you, that your gun has these attachments. Quick Draw, Suppressor, FMJ, Extended Mags, and Rapid Fire. Make sure you have all the attachments used in this video and make sure you use them in that specific order I did or else this will not work. You also need to make sure you have it in that order as shown in the video. Now once you're done, make sure you save that variant, and again, make sure that's the only variant on that gun. From there, you have officially glitched out your weapon attachments for either the Kuda Shiva or the Vesper. So as you guys can see, I did the Shiva. Although you're not done yet, from here you're going to want to back out from the game making your way to the main menu. So just press circle a couple of times on the both, the first and the second controller, and then just disconnect the second controller and then back out all the way to the main menu with your first controller, and then just close the application. Now just some quick notes and reminders, you don't have to glitch all the three guns, you can either glitch either the Kuda, Vesper, or the Shiva, so I did the Shiva since it will always be in the first room, but it's honestly up to you guys. Also, you don't have to do this whole process of glitching out your attachments again once you have done it already. So now go back into Black Ops 3 and load into zombies. I forgot to mention in that video, but um, you want to make sure that you do not check to see if the variant you just created for one of the three guns, you glitched, saved, okay? If you go check and see if it's saved, then it will mess up the glitch. You just want to not check to see if it's saved, alright? Or else you will have to do the whole thing again. Now go click on Gobble Gums and make sure you have Fatal Contraption and Wall Power as those are needed to activate the Limited Death Machine glitch. If you don't have wall power, then I will link a tutorial in the description below on how to do this glitch without wall power. But that glitch actually could be patched because I got a lot of comments saying how it doesn't work for them anymore, but it used to. So I'm going to actually test that glitch out tomorrow and see if it's actually patched. But this glitch with wall power and with fatal contraption is not patched, so this tutorial is good to go. But um, yeah, and even just with wall power, it's just easier. So I recommend you have that. But um, yeah, moving on. Once you have those two gobble gums, go ahead and load it into any map in the game. And hit the gumball machine and make sure Fatal Contraption is the first gumball you get from the gumball machine. I don't know why I said that, but um, yeah, it doesn't have to be exactly the first gobble gum you get. You just need to attain it as soon as you see it coming out from the gumball machine. Before I show this next step, I forgot to mention that you will need two weapons before the next step. One of them has to be the starting pistol you spawn with in the game, and the other has to be a wall weapon. That's not your glitched out to gun. So just get something like the RK5 for example. Also, if you did all the easter eggs for zombies, then you will automatically spawn with two weapons as a gift. One of them will be the regular starting pistol and the other will be the RK5. If that's the case, then for you easter egg people, when you go buy the glitched out weapon, you want to replace it for your regular starting pistol regardless. So no matter if you did the easter eggs or not, always replace the gun with the starting pistol, not the RK5. Now this also does mean that you cannot get the perk meal cake as this will mess this glitch up. So don't get meal cake which means don't get perkaholic. If you want perks, then you're going to have to set up the perks you want before you do the glitch manually. But um, yeah, continue on. Now try to aim for wall power, and once you do get wall power with still having your fatal contraption, you're going to want to use your fatal contraption so that it spawns a death machine, and then go grab your wall power from the gumball machine. Now from here you want to get your glitched out gun you just modified, so remember I did the Shiva. Again, make sure you swap it out for the starting pistol, not the secondary weapon or the RK5 if you did the easter eggs, the regular starting pistol you spawn with in the game. 
So I'm gonna buy the Shiva off the wall with my wall power and then go and quickly go ahead and pick up the death machine I spawned in with that fatal contraption I used earlier. Now from here, wait until the actual death machine runs out. And once it does run out, you can see that it will appear you have your glitched out gun. But when you shoot, you have the unlimited death machine. Now that's the glitch. It should work for you guys. However, if you don't get the unlimited death machine glitch and you get your glitch, the gun glitched, a eh, little tongue twister there. But um, yeah, then go ahead and pause the video and read this comment here. I actually did have this a couple of times when doing the glitch on every single map as I did a series on that. But um, yeah, it should help out. But yeah, to make sure you keep the death machine, just make sure you don't buy a weapon or switch to your other weapon or throw a grenade or buy something like a perk. While having the limited death machine glitch, I'm going to answer what you're probably thinking, which is yes, you can go and walk into another death machine drop that spawns. It won't make you lose it. If you close your application before you die, then you will be able to save the gobble gums you used in that game, and you will also be able to save your level progress XP, so I recommend you close your application. However, doing this will not save your, your, your round record, so if you went to round 100 with this glitch, then it won't save that. But if you don't care about your round record, and you care about your gobble gums and your level XP more, then I recommend you close your application. Again, this should work for you. I've solved like nine problems. So if you have another problem, maybe then go ahead and comment down below. Maybe I can help you or others can in the comment section below. But um, yeah, before you comment saying it still doesn't work, then make sure you just rewatch the video carefully as everything I said has to be taken to action. But um, yeah, anyways, guys, that's going to be all for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. We are currently on the road to 1,700 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for 1,600. I think we hit that like, by the time I'm recording this, like five minutes ago. Like I really legit can't believe the support I've gotten over the past few months and uh yeah i'm just gonna keep grinding hope you guys keep enjoying these videos but uh, yeah i'll see you guys next time peace